Your device has Bluetooth to share files with your friends, right? <laughs> but what if you have to transfer big files and your friend is so poor and he doesn't have an Apple stick computer. In fact, he is a computer science PhD student aka a Linux user or an average folk in the Windows or Android crowd where you don't have the option to airdrop. Then I'm sharing some ways to share those big files at number one, ShareDrop. ShareDrop is a web-based transferring system that uses P2P transfer method. You just go to the website sharedrop.io I think but wait a minute is it sharedrop.io yes so you go to sharedrop and here you will see an add button it will throw a QR code onto your face where you will use your laptop's webcam to escape don't do that please if you don't have a macbook or a newer windows laptop add your uh, whatever you want and then you can share the multi-billion dollar confidential documents on the other phone you will receive a message to accept and if you want to accept then accept and here you go it will download to your phone it uses p2p transfer protocol so secure when you share and it looks pretty good because it doesn't contain the bloatware and ads that some other other tools contains oh there is another good thing about it is that it doesn't have any limit of size in transferring data but i think you have an internet limit if you buy these mobile data packs so if you want to transfer some really big files then use your home wi-fi or go to the nearest starbucks or your school's computer room at number two we have shared drop Oh, oh sorry sorry snapdrop these two names are quite similar somehow as well as the logo which is interesting so snapdrop is also similar to airdrop because uh, well these both send files which is also interesting but it has a good feature that you can share locally without an internet connection which is a plus that means i have saved your phone so considering liking and subscribing would make my work easy peasy it is totally free and you can always change your mind later this is the website snapdrop where you will go on your browser and send the files just connect the device both devices with the same network and you will see your device with a strange random name which the websites like to give you for my laptop it give me and for my phone it give me you have to click on the bubbles from the device that you want to send the file from you select the file or the files and send the files to your other device and yeah it is that simple the website has an app version of it so you can install that at number three we have file pizza no 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 not real file of pizza it is file pizza this is also a p2p and you have to just type um, let me find out file pizza well it is not dot com or dot net it is dot pizza never knew that this domain extension existed anyway let's go to the file dot pizza and in here you drop a file oh boy by selecting a file you agree with our terms so what are the terms okay you select a file you are willing to transfer and then it will do some quantum mechanical equations and give you not one but more than one I mean two answers one is long and another is really long here you can send it to your friend your enemy or even the blackmailers at number two i present the airdrop figured a bunch of people <laughs> people throwing trash on my face in this one position i have a lot of ways like mailing to yourself giving another a drive or any other cloud service link to install your document but the downside of this that you have to download this with your data and there are limitations in the services and if you do want a good amount of data size limit then you need to upgrade your plan or in other words give away a few dollars to them but the faster from this and the fastest way to transfer files is cables just cables cables is the fastest method and its speed depends on your machine's file transferring speed and how good the cable is that's why you don't see the below wireless tech on the servers by the way there is another way to escape this situation and it is don't make friends and if you have done this crime then just don't send the file wish this advice helps by the way youtube thinks that this video is helpful for me so click on that to see what's happening there